All right, so today I'm gonna to be swapping out my gray old decor sofa cover for a new color. Now I've had this gray one on here for about two years, and as you can see, it's holding up really well. It's still super stretchy. There's actually no signs of wear on it at all, other than this one spot right here where the stretchy elastic band snapped off. Now I know I could probably just sew this back on, but honestly, I'm just getting a little tired of this color and I thought it'd be fun to try a new one. So the color I'm gonna be going with is the taupe. And before I pop this on, let me go ahead real quick and take the old one off. Now, if you have one of these sofa covers, you know that it does take some time to get these things on and off, but it's totally worth it. Now, if you clicked on this video because you're trying to decide what kind of sofa cover you wanna get, I've looked at a ton of different styles of sofa covers. And honestly, I really think that this one might be the best. Now there's eight pieces to this. So each little section of your couch gets its own piece. And I think that is what makes it look so good because I feel like a lot of the other ones where there's just one big piece for the bottom and one for the top, I feel like those just end up looking like you kind of tucked a blanket in around your couch. Whereas this one, you get individual pieces. Now I decided to pop this new set in the dryer for a little bit to get the wrinkles out. Then the next step is just laying them out in the spots that they belong. Now each one has a tag on it. So for example, this one says center front of cover. And this means this is gonna be the part that you sit on. So there's three of these pieces, then there's gonna be three back pieces and two arm covers. Then the one thing you just have to remember is that the tag is gonna go at the bottom. So for these pieces right here in the front, the tag is gonna go at the foot of the couch. And for the pieces that go on the back, the tag is gonna go near the floor. Oh, and for the arm covers, the tag will also go near the floor. Now, once I get all the pieces in place, the last part and probably the most challenging is getting these things locked into place so that they don't pop off. Now, these little plastic pieces right here are what we're gonna use. And all you have to do is attach one of these to each end of each cover. And how you do that is like this. Now, I have tried just skipping this part because it does take a little bit of time, but honestly, it's super annoying when your couch covers start popping off. So I think it's definitely worth putting these things on. Now, the back pieces are made so that you can either use these or you can just tie them on to the metal portion of your couch, which is what I do. Now, for me, this center part is the most difficult. Some couches, you can do this part from the back, but not on my couch. But once I'm able to get everything in place and get it all tucked in how I like it, I think it looks really nice. And as you can see, once you sit down on it, it stays in place. It doesn't get wrinkled, nothing pops off. And while it might not look as nice as like a brand new couch, I definitely feel like it looks better than the couch that I have to work with. So if you've been curious about trying out one of these couch covers, I definitely recommend this brand. They're durable. So if you have kids like I do, you don't have to worry about them. If it gets dirty, you can just pop it off and throw in the washing machine. But anyways, if you're interested in trying one of these out, I'll leave an Amazon affiliate link down in the description.